Hey YouTube. Um, so I have to ask, what do y'all think of the gameplay videos I was man I managed to be able to do? Uh, should I continue uploading gameplay like that and give credit inside the description, or should I wait until I actually have everything set up for game recording? Because if you think I should do what I've been doing, then I can have that as like my channel's theme. For a while, until I get better recording equipment. <clears throat> and I can do it in such a way that even later on I can have a screen camera. Like a camera that would be either sitting here or sitting here. Recording the screen. If I can. Yeah. Have it set up like that for one camera. Then have another camera sitting at about this angle to me. That's all up to y'all. I'm gonna let this channel be built by people. I'm not gonna build a channel myself. Sometimes. Uh, but things like how the cameras work and how the gameplay itself looks and everything. I think I wanna leave that to the people of YouTube. Uh, because, I mean, what better way of getting people to look at the videos they want than asking them what they want instead of the videos. Now, later on, and by YouTube thing on the channel, I will be taking stuff like the pepper challenges. Uh, I think sh I think that I will eat peppers based on this global unit number compared to the subscribers. So let's say I get to one million subscribers, then I'll eat a Buchlokia, otherwise known as the ghost pepper, which is one million scovels. If I get to 3 million subscribers, then the Carolina Reaper. <laughs> I will make sure I have safety crew there. I will try to arrange something with the hospital and whatnot. That way they can have someone there should something go wrong. I mean, everything from peppers to pepper sauce challenges that we take in based on my subscriber count. Dog, stop that. You know better. But, besides that, I found something the other day. If I can get stuff catching on this nuggie. Well, it didn't originally have this ball, but it was like this. It's an old cane. It had like a cyclone it torn to the top there. So I cut off like the last couple inches and fitted this bulb to it. But, I got myself a walking stick now. I like it. I have a collection of stabs I've gotten through coincidences and situations like that. So it's nice to be able to get something that's actually built to be a walking stick and use it for its purpose. <sighs> I got a lot of stuff to do. Probably shouldn't be making the vlog right now, but I mean, I don't have much time left in the day. I am getting better at looking at the camera, though, as opposed to looking at my face. I'm getting better at that. I think it's just because practice makes perfect, after all. <laughs> well, the old saying is, practice makes perfect. A few years ago, I heard other people starting to say, perfect ma practice makes perfect. That's not true. Stupid practice makes perfect, too. Just takes longer. Uh, like, I mean, shoot. Freaking blind the dang thing. Yeah, this. You think when I got this knife first, I was able to do this? No. There was more than a few times I'd go to stop the knife. Well, first time I practiced, I did it with the blade running toward me. Not very smart, I'd admit. But over time, I learned on how to uh, block it properly, learn when to sense where the blade was, and catch it appropriately. And got to the point where almost every time, I can do that. More or less, that knife is just a letter opener. But, I mean, it's good to have some skills, whether they be useless or not. Because, I mean, useless skills, they can be entertaining to people. Taking this, pressing my thumb against it, like so. Some people might get cut. I can't. Well, I can, just not by that, because I didn't drag the knife. Simple mechanics behind blades. Uh, there are some knives, true, you just press against the skin and you're cut. But then there are other knives that are properly sharpened. That it will not cut you unless you drag your hand across it. 
Now, a knife, when properly sharpened, shouldn't be able to cut you just by like, hitting your hand or it lightly dragging on your skin or something. It needs to actually have force applied to cut you. That's a proper sharpening to a knife. That's how all my knives are sharpened. The only one that's sharpened differently uh, is this because I used a kitchen knife sharpener on its edges at first. And so it has a kitchen edge to it, not a battle edge. A battle edge is like this bayonet. Just doing this won't cut me. Well, actually, you didn't even see that. But just doing this won't cut me. I can do this all day, it won't cut me. But if I apply force and do that, it will cut straight through into my bone. This one, on the other hand, if I do this and I actually have it hitting me, it will cut me. It has a kitchen edge. To all you people who are trying to learn to sharpen knives, you don't want to sharpen them to the point where they can cut a leaf over them or they can do anything like that. A, unrealistic. It can happen, but you're going to have to resharpen that every single day. B, too dangerous. You don't want it to be to the point where if you mess up when handling the knife, you're hurt. You want to make it to where a battle edge is making it to where you have to be committed to making that attack. Yet, it has to be sharpened in a way that you can have it just on your skin, it won't cut you. You can even pull it on your skin, it won't cut you. But if you apply force and pull it, it will. That's what a battle edge is. There's been a lot of misconceptions about knives and battle edges and proper sharpening over the years, and it's making me mad that people think that to have something sharp means it needs to be able to cut a leaf or that it needs to be able to just hit and cut. No, that's not how a knife should work. Unless you have a kitchen knife, in which case that's different. That needs to be able to cut the meat, bone, sinew, everything that you can when dealing with meat. But, no. Anyone who sharpens their knife to that keen edge, to where you can just drop something and cuts it, that's just stupid. You're going to hurt yourself. Ugh. As it is, unless you're, that's going to be your profession, just leave it to the professionals. Don't try sharpening a knife yourself unless you plan on committing yourself and make a tour. You can do that for anyone. That's my advice to y'all. <laughs> but, before this drags on for too much longer... Anyways, Colin Maxis, signing off. Later, YouTube.